I now have a cat on my lap, so I cannot move. A year ago, I did my bookshelf tour, which honestly, I hate that video. Ow, I hated it so much. Can't even go back and watch it. So I was like, I just need to make a new one. And I just reorganized my bookshelf. I'm not sure if I'm liking how it looks. I kind of want to go back to the way it was, which was like the pages turned out kind of thing. But um, for now, this is what it is. So this is the tour you are getting. If you want to see me reorganize it, you can go to my last video. This is kind of the continuation of the tour. Now I'm going to go through each shelf. I don't know if I'm going to go book by book, but I'm at least going to point out a lot of books on the shelf. Definitely gonna point out the books that I love, the books that are might be special editions, we'll see. These are my bookshelves right now. I don't know how much it's actually changed since my last bookshelf tour. I've done some big unhauls and I've gotten quite a few more books. Hold on, hold, hold on. Rude. So let's just get into this because it's gonna be a long video because I have a lot of books. It's, it's a time. Anyways, bookshelf wise, I have two different sets of bookshelves. These two are from Walmart. Don't recommend them. They are uh, falling apart. They are broken. I will never be able to move them again. Basically, these two are from Target. They are much smaller, but they are much better quality and they were much cheaper. I think the Walmart ones were like 150 a piece and the, the, the Target ones were like 50 bucks a piece. And those are the bookshelves I own. That's why they're different, different heights. That's also why I try to hide the height difference with all of the stuff I put on top of my bookshelves. Also, I'm just run out of room all the time, so stuff goes everywhere. I have the book cart, which has a lot of books on it as well, so that's probably the first thing we're gonna go through. This is why I have so many holes in my clothes. You are the reason. Or do you just think you can get away with it? Because you're so cute! Huh? I would get up and start the bookshelf tour now, but I, uh, I still have a cat on me. Oh, organization-wise, it's not really organized. I go more by vibes, looks, aesthetics. It's gonna be long. Let's just go. I feel like I should just, I should just go. You're such a pretty girl. Pretty girl who really needs to be brushed. All right, my girl. Ugh. This is my book cart. I, I was gonna turn and drag it towards me, but I'm too weak, so. Oh my god, this is way heavier than I thought it was gonna be. This is the first shelf on the book cart, and basically this shelf is usually books that I just get, and I don't have a place for it yet, so I stick it on my bookshelf. Um, what? So I stick it on my book cart. But in this case, because I did just reorganize, these three books are books that I'm trying to get rid of. So this is a... Fairy Loop Poster Girl by Veronica Roth. I have no interest in this book, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of it. These two books are editions of Throne of the Fallen, which hopefully by the time you watch this video, they're gone because I'm doing a giveaway for them. We're gonna go down to the, the second shelf now because it's it's more interesting. This is the second shelf. I have the first seven of the collector's edition of Fruits Baskets. This is my favorite anime of all time. Really hoping to one day be able to uh, pick these up and read them. I've been kind of waiting till I get all of them so I can just read them all at the same time. I also have the first two editions of Let's Play, the first four of Heartstopper, I adore it. Um, you might be getting shots of my cat's tail, I'm sorry. And then we have the bottom shelf, which is gonna be a little bit harder to show. These both have art print stuff in it. This is the Throne of Glass game Haunted Mansion book set, a Mother Gothel book, a Lynn Marie Miranda poetry book thing that he did that I got as a gift. This is the Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation, Laura Olympus, and then a cookbook, a, a Disney World cookbook. These were just books that I didn't have anywhere else to put them, so they ended up on this bottom shelf. These are a bunch of mass paperback books that I just didn't have room on my shelf for. Most of them are Bridgerton books. In fact, I think all eight of the Bridgerton books are right here. And then the only two that aren't Bridgerton, oh, never mind, that's a Bridgerton book, um, is this Burn For Me book that I got for like $2. On the top of my shelves, I have these special editions of A Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm pretty sure these were the, I think they were the Illumicrate ones. 
but these are very, very pretty. I like never touch them. They just stay up there. I also have some Akatar candles, bookends. I have a crown and little plushies of Feyre and Resand. I used to be obsessed with this series. I still really like it, but I'm not as obsessed as I used to be. I then have my copies of the Infernal Devices, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess. These are special editions of The Last Hours, Chain of Gold, Chain of Iron, Chain of Thorns that are just beautiful. These, I, can't, I think these are both Fey Crate. I also think these are Fey Crate. These are special editions of, what is that? I've never read them. These Gilded Wolves. I also have more bookish candles, Audrey Rose and Thomas candles, as well as one of the only Funko Pops that I have because I kind of hate Funko Pops but that one was just too cute and that's toothless. And then I have these boxes which hold some things, um, but they also help change, um, kind of hide the fact that these are two different heights a little bit. I also have Audrey Rose, Thomas, and Cordelia plushies up there as well as my Hatbox Ghost from the Haunted Mansion collectible item. I then have more special edition of the Infernal Devices and right next to it is Serpent and Dove. Got a little book nook some classic books. This top area is kind of a mess, so I'm just doing a quick overview of it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's mostly just stuff. I really need to fix how that's crooked, but um, I don't feel like it, so. This first shelf is mostly like golds, reds, colors. I have my copies of Fourth Wing. I have some Lee Bar all my Lee Bardugo, King of Scars, Roll of Wolves, Six of Crows, the special edition Six of Crows, and then Ninth House, which I've yet to read but really want to. I was supposed to read it this fall and didn't. And over here, this one is Lore, This Vicious Grace, and then Grace? Is that right? Yep. And then this one is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. The shelf is mostly based off of vibes, purely vibes. I also then go on over here to the second shelf, which is starting with Chloe Gong's series and books. This is her These Violent Delights series. I adore this series so much. I really, really love it. I then have Strange the Dreamer, Muse of Nightmares by Lonnie, Ta Lonnie Taylor. Yet to read anything by Lonnie Taylor. I need to give her a try because I know she's super popular. I then have, these are out of order. I then have Blade of Secrets and Master of Iron by Trisha Levenslinger. I love this author so much. I have yet to read these two books by her though. I really want to. I then have Defy the Night and Defend the Dawn, which are the, I, I think this is a duology. I, I don't really know anything about it other than I think it might be a Rapunzel retelling. Not really sure. I then have, Wow, these are out of order too. What what did I do over here? Okay. Some of my most favorite books on my shelf. Hold on, I need I need to do these justice. These are stunning. These are Fairy Loot editions of Daughter of the Pirate King. I really need to reread this series, but I adored it when I first read it, and so when Fairy Loots decided that they were doing a special edition version of them. Look how stunning these are. They're so pretty. And um, when done right, the pages line up and make a boat. Isn't that awesome? I also have Gilded by Marissa Meyer up here. This one just didn't fit on my Marissa Meyer shelf. And then I also have my special edition of Shadow and Bone. Um, which just didn't fit with my Lee Bardugo books, so they all, they both got hidden in this little corner. I have no easy way of recording this, so I'm sorry. I then have the Percy Jackson books up here, as well as the lo uh, second Percy Jackson series, the new Percy Jackson book, all of the Trial of Apollo, no, sorry, the first three Trial of Apollo books, two of the Red Pyramid books, and then the three Magnus Chase series, as well as this Sky in the Deep book by Adrian Young. I think it's a Viking story. I think that's why I put it up there because mythology stuff is up here. Arrow to the Moon and Princess of Souls. These are two fairy paperback books I got that I just felt match the colors up here. I then have The Poppy War, Circe, and Neon Gods, two are retellings. 
mythological retellings. This one just kind of fit the vibe because it's orange. We go on to my next shelf up here. I have the Hunger Games, the Ruby Red Trilogy, the Beautiful, the Righteous, I'm Missing the Damned, Spend the Dawn, Horrid, Lake's Edge. I have one of the Avatar books. I've read the two Kyoshi ones. I just don't know them physically. Set Fire to the Gods, Bone Spindle, The Kingdom, You Reach Sammed, my the Plain Jane series, these Hollow Vows and these Twisted Bonds, and then three of V. E. Schwab's A Darker Shade of Magic books up there. All right, let's move on to my first of three, I think, Carrie Maniscalco shelves. If you don't know, and if you can't tell, Carrie Maniscalco, favorite author, um, Stalking Jack the Ripper, which is this series is my favorite series of all time. Yes, there's only four books in this series. Well, four and a half, because there's a novella, but novella isn't available in a physical edition. So uh, you won't see that on here, but this is, we're gonna spend a little bit of time on this shelf. This is Stalking Jack the Ripper. I believe this is my first copy. Maybe it's not. Oh, no, this is my signed box set. Um, so these are all my signed editions. This is the pre-order cover of Capturing the Devil, um, which was a pre-order bonus that you got, but I put it on my box, signed box set edition, and then that is the normal cover. Now I am missing what the fourth one in this set because when I bought these ones, the fourth one was not yet out yet. But this is, this is where you're gonna start seeing my, um, how obsessed I am. This is the Stalking Jack the Ripper sets, but, um, it's in Italian. So, I can't actually read this set, but they are beautiful, and I'm obsessed, and I needed them. So, I literally have all oh, three of the first ones, but in Italian. Can I read Italian? No. No, I cannot. But I love it. And they all have sprayed edges, too. Now, I believe this is actually my original copies, but they have fancy dust jackets on them. I got these dust jackets from Fae Crate. These are my first editions. Like, these are my original, original copies that I ever had of the series. But they have these, these dust jackets on them, which, like, <laughs> this is my favorite one. I... Hunting Prince Dracula is the second in the series. It is my favorite in the series. This is probably my favorite dust jacket that I own. Or Escaping from Houdini. And then Capturing the Devil. Look at this power couple. Ugh, I adore them. That isn't all the Stalking Jack Thrippers I have, but it is all the Stalking Jack, Jack Thrippers on this shelf. We then go into the first couple copies of Kingdom of the Wicked I have, which is by the same author. So these are the bookish box sets of Kingdom of the Wicked. I really don't like the bookish box, but this was, um, this was before I decided I wasn't gonna buy from them anymore. But these are some really, really stunning editions. I also have two editions set over here of Kingdom of the Feared. So this edition was sent to me by Little Brown Books, um, which was the publisher at the time before the publisher switched over. This is a deleted chapter that I have that I hid between these two. I also have the Walmart exclusive, which comes with a bonus story, and you can't take that sticker off, which really bugs me, but it's fine. Right next to that shelf is the continuation of my Carrie Minascalco books. These three editions are the Fairy Loot editions of Kingdom of the Wicked, Cursed, and Feared. They also have special sprayed edges and pictures on the inside. I won't show you all of them, but I will show you the Kingdom of the, the Wicked one. But they all have these special covers and artwork on the inside. I then have my Kingdom of the Wicked from the Wicked Book Box. They only did the first one. This has the golden edges. Barnes & Noble editions. <laughs> um, can you tell I'm obsessed? Uh, just a little bit. There's a few, very few series that makes me this obsessed where I have to buy all the editions I can find. 
but Carrie Mittlis Gauko is just that author for me. Next, we get back into the Stocking Jack the Ripper series. This is also Bookish Box editions. These were gifted to me by a friend. But look how, look how stunning these are. Like, I'm probably never gonna read them because the quality, I feel like they might fall apart. Incredibly beautiful editions. And they all have the sprayed edges and the artwork on the inside as well. This one's probably my favorite out of them. This is the UK edition paperback from Waterstones. It had the sprayed, sprayed edges. This is the regular paperback version of Kingdom of the Feared. And then the paperback of Kingdom of the Cursed. The reason I have all these in paperback is because I'm planning on going through and annotating all my paperback editions. And I've already started annotating Stocking Jack the River. I just haven't gotten very far, but I am hoping to keep going and continuing on, but I've yet to get to the other ones. I then have the Ark of Hunting Prince Dracula, which I'm still on the hunt for the arcs of the first, third, and fourth one. If you know anybody who's willing to trade or give them up, send them my way because I would I would love to collect all these. One of my most favorite things I've ever been sent. This is the Ark of Kingdom of the Wicked, which it was quite the day when the publisher reached out to me and asked if I would love a review copy of this. I literally cried the day <laughs> that I got this um, and read it in like one sitting. So <sighs> through Bookstagram, a lot of people know my obsession with this, so I get a lot of messages sometime on Bookstagram asking if I want things that people have. This was a sampler of Capturing the Devil before Capturing the Devil came out. Um, and the girl who sent this to me actually met Carrie Minoscalco and got it, got it signed. Um, and she asked if I wanted it, and I said yes. It is signed to Victoria, not me, but um, I really wanted the sampler, so she, she sent it to me. I also have this Escaping from Houdini bonus content as well. Then we have... I kind of call this my fairy loot shelf. This shelf is purely based off aesthetics, so we will go we will go through some of these. I have this two book by F.T. Lukens. This one is a super cute. They're really short. Fire with fire. All of these have art usually on the inside. I'm not gonna go through all of them unless I really like it. Here is Dowry of Blood. I just recently read this book for the first time and I really liked it. Cruel Illusions. I adore this cover so much. I have no idea what this book is about. My fairy loot edition of these hollow vows. Belladonna. Only a monster. I then have a couple non-fairy loot books because they just fit here. So I have The Seventh Son by Lonnie Forbes. Dance of Thieves by Mary Erie Pearson. We Hunt the Flame. One of the most beautiful fairy loot books I own. Divine Rivals. I adore this look. Then Once We Burn, this is the alternative cover. I flipped it around because I really like the black and white. Oh, I just think my funny one. But the original fairy loot one was a bit different. Another one of my favorite fairy loot editions, Babel. Oh, she, is, she is so pretty. If I Have to Be Haunted. One Dark Window. Sing Me to Sleep by Gabby Burton. The Darkening by Sonia Mar Mara. Spells for Forgetting by Adrian Young, who I adore. The Forest Grim by Catherine Purdy. This book is stunning. Then not a fairy loot book, but a book I bought recently, Night of the Witch. This is a book that I saw at Barnes Noble and literally just saw the tagline, A Witch Should Never Fall for Hunter, and decided, yep, I'm getting this. This shelf is also at a weird angle, so we're gonna be pulling out a lot of books again, but mostly just black books and then by height. So, Secret History, Legends and Lattes, love Legends and Lattes, Six of Crows, the paperback movie, TV show tie-in covers, Netflix, why you cancel Six of Crows on us, I'm very upset about it, 
Just saying. I then have the four books of the Twilight series, which I just read Twilight for the first time. Um, and I'm hoping to continue on the rest of the series soon. I also have the more of the Schwab books, the two I have read, the Shelby Marin, the Scarlet Veil, vale, Anatomy and Immortality. I also have Cinderella's Dead. This is a sequel, I believe. I don't own the first one of Red Tigress. Um, my editions of Fable, and Namesake, and Saint. These, I have two of them because um, they were signed personalized. And then I have a lot of Oshity Mermaid books, so like Kill Kingdom. There's my original copy of um, Daughter of the Siren Queen, which I would get rid of, but it's also personalized and signed. To uh, and then The Maiden Ship and Mermaid Mood. I then have most of my Marissa Meyer books, which Marissa Meyer was one of the first authors I like read and like really loved, so I have a ton of her editions as well. This is also the series that my cat is named after, so there's there's that. But got the first Wires and Nerves. I don't own the second one. Someday I will. Have my original copies of the Lunar Chronicles. Hold on. I totally forgot about this. But Renegades is personalized to me. I've never met Marissa Meyer, but my sister went for my birthday. Yeah, this one was also signed to me. A friend went to this signing and got a signed copy for me. I would love to meet Marissa Meyer one day. Hopefully, maybe when her next book comes out, I might travel. I then have some of the newest, most beautiful books on my shelf. These are the Fairy Loot Editions for Lunar Chronicles. And they are stunning. I just, they, uh, these are so pretty. Look at the, look at the hollow, the hollow shifting. This one's my favorite. Look how, oh, they're so pretty. I then have one of my all time favorite books, Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This is half Marissa Meyer, half the rest of my Carrie Maniscalco books. I have the new covers of the Lunar Chronicles. I, I really, really adore these covers, the artist who did these. It's just, they're really, really cute. They are my favorite. I also have this version of Cinder, which is a paperback, which is also signed by Marissa Meyer. I got this on a trip to Seattle once. <sighs> and they had a copy in stock. I then have the Barnes & Noble, Throne of the Fallen, the Fairy Loot, Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco, the regular normal edition, and the Waterstones edition, Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco. Then have the rest of my Kingdom of the Wicked. I think these are the, the Fairy Loot, not Fairy Loot, Fae Crate editions of the, the books. The first two have them in it because I don't think the third one has come out yet but I'm keeping my eye for when it does. I also have the two UK editions signed by Carrie Maniscalco. We then get to my first of the Shadow Hunter series shelves. Um, actually this is Wrath Daddy. He's from a, um, a fairy loot I'm pretty sure. He goes over by Kingdom of the Wicked. I have all of the paperbacks that are currently out for the Shadowhunter series, basically which is all of them but the Chain of Thorns which will go right here. Uh, I then have the three, the three manga that they did for the Infernal Devices. The City of Bones movie, um, it has like a bunch of stills from the movie in there. And then the first five of the graphic novel for the Roll Instruments, which I love this artist so much. These are special editions of Chain of Gold, Iron, and Thorns. These are super, super pretty. I adore them so much. They're so cute. I think these were Fae Crate, maybe, or Owl Crate. I'm not, I'm not, I don't quite remember. But this is the version of, um, chain of thorns that I annotated as well. I then have the fifth anniversary edition of Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows. Editions of City of Bones, Rockford Angel. This is a 
Chain of Thorns. This is a Waterstones edition. This is an anniversary edition. I believe this is also an anniversary edition. These might be Owl Crate? I don't know. It was one of the book boxes, I'm pretty sure, but um, they are the, the special, special editions of The Last Hours. And then I have another special edition of The Last Hours. This is the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of Chain of Gold. This is another Chain of Thorns special edition. An illustrated history of notable shadow hunters and denizens of the downworld. This is like a bunch of tarot cards and artwork of a bunch of shadow hunter characters. And then I'm pretty sure I missed out on the first one, but this is Chain of Iron and Chain of Thorns and these beautiful slipcases. I have the Ember in the Ashes, all-time favorite series by Saba to hear. I then have these UK editions of Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. These were before they did the cover redos, so. And I actually got, I think I got the first three while well, it's actually in the UK. I then have the new covers for A Court of Thorns and Roses. This one also has page overlays in it. Same with A Court of Mist and Fury. This also has the reading portals um, page overlays in them. I also then have the rest of the series, plus the random uh, original cover of A Court of Wings and Ruin. Um, I don't know why I randomly have an extra, I just do. Rest of my Sarah J Moss books, I have the two collector editions of Throne of Glass and A Court of Thorns Roses. These, I can't remember what company that these. I think it's Fake Crate. Um, these are the special edition dust jackets. And two of them have straight edges. I then have Crescent City and House of Sky and Breath, which are just okay. Catwoman. And then I have just a random copy of um, The Invisible Life of Body of the Roof. Maybe you should out here because. Um, that's where, that's where I fit, you know? This shelf might be a little hard to show because it's just such a big shelf. This is the rest of my Shadow Hunters. So like the original covers and the new Swordcatcher book, I just didn't know where else to put it. So it just went on top there. Um, these are a couple more special editions, like the 10th anniversary of City of Bones. These are Waterstone editions. These are tarot cards, and then you can't tell with the light on, but maybe with the light off, this is a light, and it has, let me see if I can, it's Clockwork Angel. It's a LED light from, I believe I got that from Beacon. Over here is where my other LED light is, and this one is from Caraval. The Ones Upon a Broken Heart trilogy, all in their special edition pre-order covers. I just read this final one. It's a good trilogy. I liked, I think I like this one more than the Caraval series. This is the Fairy Loot edition of Once Upon a Broken Heart, Caraval, this collector's edition of Caraval, and then just some pink book, Stardust the Thief, The Girl Fell Beneath the Sea, um, Six Crimson Creams, Wicked Fox, this book of the month one. This is the special edition of Cinder. It's very beautiful. I just didn't fit on my Marissa Meyer shelf, so I went over here with the other pink purpley books. The selection books hardcover, these are actually exclusive editions from Beacon Book Box. They have artwork on the inside. Then the paperbacks of the two other books that belong in that series, which I hate these two books. Faceless Saints, this is a smaller fairy loop book. Twin Crowns is a fairy loop book as well. That just didn't fit anywhere else is Constance Hatchaway. She is the bride from the Haunted Mansion and she is stunning. I literally just put her here because um, I feel like her vibe matches with the Once Upon a Broken Heart. For these bottom shelves, they're kind of a mess. I just kind of put whatever fit there on here. I have another fairy loot, some big, big paperbacks. A paperback I'm scared to read. A Girl, A Paper and Fire trilogy, A Crystal Dark and Lovely, and the third one or second one, whatever that is, um, some of the 
Truth Witch series. I then have the Shatter Me series and my other Tamara Mafia book, The Woven Kingdom, down here. Loved the Shatter Me series, um, or at least the first three. I really liked the first three. This shelf is a mess, but it's usually hidden by my book cart. I'm showing you it, I guess. These are my childhood books, Ramona and Beezus. These are all by Beverly Cleary. They were just books I read a lot as a kid. I have a bunch of young adult contemporary. I really loved Girl Against the Universe when I first read it, but I read it when I first started my reading journey. I don't know if it holds up anymore, but I would love to read it again. Really loved Once Upon a K-Prom. Adored that book. I really like to tell me three things, too. I have my other two Terra Moffy books just kind of sitting here because I didn't have anywhere else for them. I have, again, Better, Better Together, Red, White, Red, Blue, Instacarma. Um, this also couldn't fit on my rest of my shelf and it didn't fit the vibe, so it went down here. Paperback romance and more adult romance on this pile. These are two Shadowhunter books that I just had extra. Those are some um, non-fiction books that I have. Victoria Aveyard's series that I really need to read, the Red Queen series, which I have a special collector edition of, but you know. Some other romance slash witchy paperback books that didn't fit anywhere else. This book, which I really, really need to read. Lost Memories. Callum Bricker. I read half of it and then broke my Kindle, which I was reading it on, so I couldn't finish it. Um, but I adore this girl. I adore her. And my last shelf, which is my most messy shelf, purely because of these cords that plug in my lights. And then there is a bunch of paperbacks that really didn't fit anywhere else. And there's some hardbacks that didn't fit anywhere else. I have my spy family novels down here. I also have some bigger picture, like the art of how to dragon entangled and this children's book that was like the book I used to read all the time when I was little. This is my, this is my bookshelf. This is the new bookshelf tour, hopefully in better quality than um, my previous bookshelf tour. Also, it took, it honestly took a lot faster because I didn't have to switch around every single book. I still didn't go through all the books. I just pointed out a bunch that I really liked or wanted to read or like special editions. I love my bookshelf so much. I, I adore it. Um, I love books. I'm sure we all do here love books. I love collecting books. That said, I also unhaul books all the time and I'm constantly getting new books and getting rid of books and stuff like that. So I feel like my shelf is constantly changing and a lot of the books on my shelf I know are repeats, but it's just collecting editions. I really like collecting editions, book editions. It's like my hobby, I guess. And I, well, I would hope reading is a hobby because <sighs> this is what I do. I, uh, I am here on booktube sometimes, I'm over on bookstagram sometimes, but this is, this is my hobby, it's what I like. So, well this, cats, diamond painting, board games, video games, stuff like that. So, you know, those are my hobbies. This is just the one that takes up most of my mind, time and money. Thank you for watching, and if you uh, watched my first bookshelf tour video and you're still here watching my videos, Thank you. This is kind of like a year wraparound. It's a little bit more than a year. So I'm losing my energy. Um, this takes a lot out of you. And um, I have things I want to do. I want to go play Boulder Skate. I want to go dive and paint. It's my day off, so I kind of just want to chill. I want to get out of this 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 romper that I'm wearing, which I'll show you. It's a very cute romper, but there we go. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope this one turns out better than my last one. It should, right? Yeah, we're fine. That's, you're good. Thank you for watching, and if you watched my last one and are watching this one, I love you.